the last day and we couldn't get boxing so we had to do an alternative. So we're gonna do assault bike, six rounds, two minutes, 30 seconds on, rest, do wall balls, 15, and then we're gonna do abs, hanging leg raises. So that's the circuit for today. We actually got legs today on our main workouts, kind of trying to conserve energy. Last day. Last day week of pain, it's been a long week. Finishing off a late day, it's only right. Gotta finish up with some dumbbell RDLs, some Bulgarian split squats with the dumbbells. You see we did quad extensions and hamstring curls to begin the workout so we could pre-exhaust. So we didn't have to load too heavy on our leg presses. So like the pre-exhaust movement always worked. Definitely start with calf raises first to just get your whole leg firing. Ready to squat deep like we did on the leg presses. Today, about finish up the workout. It feels good, man. It feel like you accomplished what you set out to do, which is week of pain. Saved leg day for last, so we mentally did it. Check all the way out. Legs been sore from all the running activities we've been doing. I'm a very leg dominant person even when i'm swimming i feel my legs more than anything else i was able to hold on to a good size we haven't hit legs in months so this is definitely gonna hurt And just like that, week of pain has come to an end. Thank God. <laughs> it was a long ass week. Um, I'm glad I did it though. I always leave week of pain better than I entered it. And after all the traveling and everything we've been doing, um, this was fire. This is what I needed. So um, we got it done. Try to hold it together the best we can, but recording throws a whole nother element in there. So for any of you that are about to try it or have been embarking on it uh, with me and Kai, it should be a lot easier because you know y'all are not recording, but then y'all have work and y'all got school and things like that. So I'm just happy at the return of week of pain um, more than anything. My, my grandfather passed passed a week or two ago and my birthday was also a week or two ago he passed the day before my birthday my granddad who was in the germany vlog a lot of y'all like that video so yeah he did pass so for me week of pain was like something i really feel like i needed to just realign myself you know get out of my feelings get out of my emotions and just get back on the grind and not to say you know i didn't deal with the emotions and i didn't grieve him passing and things like that but you can't stay in that state for too long before it's time to get back to the real world, you know, especially being a man, especially having to provide for yourself, for your friends, for family, things like that. So, um, yeah, time keeps ticking, the world keeps turning, and you just gotta keep grinding straight like that. So, week of pain's done. Who knows when the next one will be? I can't wait to see a bunch of y'all this weekend, Saturday, tomorrow, if you're watching this video, um, in New York, Brooklyn. Um, I can't wait for the Run Club. Warehouse sale is also live today, right now. Go on welcomepain.com. Go shop up to 70% off all archive welcome pain pieces. So cop up. And a t-shirt is now live officially as well. I survived week of pain tea. When y'all get them in, it is going to be a pre-order. So it's going to take like a week or two to get to you. But once it does, I want to see y'all post it up in your I survived week of pain t-shirt. I'll have mine when y'all get yours. And yeah, we did it. We thugged it out. And I hope this was motivational for you. I hope this was helpful in some way, whether it be the advice, whether it just be the daily grind that you're watching or the workouts. I hope it impacted you in some way positively, even if it's one person. That's all that matters to me, man. That's why I'm here. That's why I feel like I'm put on this earth. One of my main purposes is just if it's advice, if it's entertainment, you know had a long week a long life <laughs> come to our shit for some laugh for a good time some entertainment whatever it may be man i hope i'm able to help the best i can and that you took something from this week of pain i'm about to take my ass to bed 
can do my last prayer. Yeah, I have been reading also. The book I've been reading is Rework. Amazing book for all my business owners out there, especially small business owners, clothing brands. Um, even creators, I think it could be helpful for you too. That's a new book I'm reading. It's called Rework. I was writing notes on it yesterday. I didn't record today, but I did read today. Great book. It's reworking literally a lot of the thoughts and feelings I've had towards um, running a business and things like that. One of the things I could take from it right now is just talks about like being a workaholic and better time management, like you working hard, extra hours, getting three hours of sleep a day and running off of espressos. It talks about like that not being helpful all the time or really at any time. It's just, just because you do more work doesn't mean you're doing more work. It just means that you're doing more work. Doesn't mean the quality of the work is good. It just means that you're doing more work. And maybe you should be working more efficiently and find a ways to put systems in place to help you not work so much. A lot of things like that where it's like, okay, I'm tapped in. I'm really listening, you know, as well as like it talking about scaling your business and how every business doesn't need to scale to this great place. And that's really the failure of a lot of companies is scaling way too quick, hiring too many employees and things like that. It talks about maybe growing slow, finding a sweet spot and staying there. If it's three employees work for you like us right now, we want to stay in this little pocket for a while until maybe we get to the millions of dollars each drop. And then, okay, we could bring some people in, but they just, it talks about growing slow and you always hear grow, 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 scale, 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 big, big, big business, big business, like things like that so often that you know if you're making a couple million and you got a good little pocket you in you know low overhead few employees like that keeps things as least complicated as possible so just things like that good book for my business owners and things like that but yeah i love y'all to fucking death i'm glad we completed this week of pain together my advice is you 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 say you're gonna do something you set out to do something finish it go through with it um and that's my kind of my mindset for this week of pain um can't wait to see y'all in new york Welcome pain to the fucking moon, man. I don't see nobody else in the way. If it's not welcome pain or casket heights, take that shit the fuck off. Bye.